the holidays. They can be such a beautiful time of the year, but I think for most people nowadays, it can be very isolating and depressing. I think, at least for Americans, we've been raised up on this idea that the holidays are for this grand family time. You see it on TV shows and on movies, and especially things like Hallmark Channel, where the family's in this one giant house and they have all their stockings and the family's gathered up rubbing shoulders eating all the meal and passing the food around and they might have some squabbles but they laugh it off they might even get some fist fights which is like could be like a comedy but then it all works out in the end and that's not really real life because even if you have a good family bond things can happen People may die and not be there for the holidays, and that's a very depressing holiday. People could be living in other states and other countries, and so you just physically can't be in their presence. I've experienced, especially since I've been traveling, many times where I've been alone on holidays. My birthday, I've been alone. Mother's Day, I haven't been with my mom, and my boys haven't been with me. And it's very sad. It can be very isolating. And there's been times where I'm like, it's fine. I don't care if I'm on my own for a holiday. And then that day comes and then I feel really kind of a deep sadness. Like, oh, that, that feels bad because you're seeing a bunch of people on the internet, on social media, sharing family in their pajamas or, you know, all these different things that may be wonderful, awesome, great. But there may be a lot of strife and arguing and pain in the scenes that we don't see. So I started really thinking about this the last couple of years as I've been traveling and I want to share with you my experience. Take it or leave it. I'm just one person that's living in a van full time. But I know I've heard from so many people that feel so lonely and isolated. And what's sad is that there's so many of us feeling so lonesome and yet somehow we can't come together. So. I'm trying to make more videos where we can all try to be less lonely together. So even if it's me just sharing this with you and you feel a little less lonely, then that's great. So some of the things that I've done is number one, I've let go of the expectations or the outcome or the thought of like, it's time for pie, but you know what else time it is? It's time to become part of the snack pack. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and throw a like on this video and put a like on it for the pie. The thought of like, this needs to be such a wonderful holiday experience because it's probably not going to happen. Both of my boys, my sons, they live in two different states. And so sometimes it's just not possible. The other thing that I have done is I've taken almost all the weight off of the calendar. And that's really one of the top things that I've done is I've examined why do I feel that the holidays need to be different than any other day. And they don't. Especially for someone like me that loves the Bible and studies it every day. And I've realized that all these holidays that we celebrate, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, and all these things, they're not even in the Bible. And so I've been really looking into the biblical feasts, the holidays that are actually in the Bible, and I'm moving more towards that. And those are more towards worship, thinking about God and other people, and less about commercialism, fighting with each other, pushing people into doing stuff that they don't want to do just for the sake of a holiday, or spending your last dime on trying to give people gifts when people can't afford it or people being so focused on gifts of like i can't wait to get this 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 and not thinking about other people i don't like any of those things and so i don't really care about any of the holidays and so once i took the weight off of those dates it actually freed me up a lot i know for many people they love like christmas like that's the ultimate but people are actually out here killing themselves because they feel so alone because they've seen the height of the holiday day coming and they're like, I'm gonna be alone. Again, it feels terrible. By appreciating the festivities and the positive side of the holidays, that's awesome. But taking away all the other pressures, it's really helped me to not get so upset about it. And if I have a holiday where I'm say with my parents and my two sons decide they can't come or they don't wanna come or they wanna do something else, I don't get too upset about it. The other thing is never underestimate the power of a FaceTime or a Zoom call with somebody. Sometimes just seeing somebody's face, their expressions, their smile, their laughing and joking, it really can perk somebody up and I've done that as well. The other thing is if you don't have anything on your calendar to spend time with friends and family, then there's nothing really to hope for. So it doesn't need to fall on a specific date of the year. You can just set some time in the calendar and be like, you know what, on August 12th, which I don't even know, that's nothing, you know, I'm sorry if it's your birthday, but I'm saying it's like 
not a holiday or anything. On August 12th, I'm gonna go spend some time with my best friend in another state. Or on March 27th, I'm gonna go visit my brother or sister. And one of the things that my family has decided to do, and this is the first year we're doing it, because a lot of the people in my family live in other cities in the States, so what we've decided to do is create a new holiday for our family called Thanksmas. It's gonna fall between Thanksgiving and Christmas every year in the middle of those two holidays. So mid-December, we're going to get everybody together. And that way it's less money on flights, less traffic. We don't have to attribute it to gift giving or doing anything particular in terms of cooking a big dinner because for certain holidays one one or two people will end up in the kitchen the whole time and miss all the festivities and everyone else is just kicking back this family get together type holiday will alleviate that and then we'll just have some basic things like lasagna and garlic bread or something like that but it's just a time that we know that our family is going to be gathering together. Everybody can come together and then on the actual holidays, if they want to celebrate, anyone that wants to celebrate that can just spend it the way they want to wherever they are in the world. And the last thing I want to say is that if you do end up being alone when it's a holiday time, it's okay. It's going to come every year. So it's, it's a good thing to kind of plan out what you're going to do for yourself. You've tried to make plans with people. It's just not working out and you don't want to keep pushing and pushing. Just decide, you know what? I'm going to have my own XYZ holiday and then make a plan. Get a pie for yourself. Get, get a little meal. Get your favorite meal. You know, you can plan ahead and just do it by yourself and it's fine. And if you need to have a good cry, go ahead. It, there's power in tears. You know what I'm saying? Like it releases some really heaviness in your heart. If you need to put on some sad music and bust out a tear, that's okay. If you just feel sad, grab a box of tissues and just let her rip. It's okay. I promise you'll not die from crying. I mean, I don't know that 100%. I don't know if anybody's ever died from crying, but you might have a little bit of a broken heart. And that, I mean, we all have tough times and broken hearts at times and it's okay. There's been times in the past where I thought, oh my gosh, if I cry, I'm just gonna never stop crying. I'm just gonna burst open and I'm, my heart's gonna break in a million pieces. And guess what? I'm still here. I, I, I made it. <laughs> I didn't die. And so it's okay if you feel sad and lonely. And also God is always present. He's always with you. So you can always pray, talk to God, let it be known how you're feeling. And he's always there. Just try to make the best of it. Plan ahead for watching a certain movie that you like or going on some live streams. I know there's lots of creators that do live streams on holidays and different things like that. I've done New Year's Eve live streams so that people aren't alone. And there's other creators that do the same thing. And you can join groups. There's lots of things that you can do to plan ahead. And sometimes you just, you actually want to be alone and that's okay. You can go at a campground or you can get a hotel for yourself. You can go on your own little, little mini vacation. There's so many things you can do. And that's why I'm always saying my little motto is goal, get out and live. Live your life. Don't just sit around and be sad for good. It's okay to be sad and cry or be upset, but don't let yourself stew in it because that's when things start creeping in. That, that depression starts like weighing you down. And then you're like, nobody cares about me. I'm all alone. I hate how this feels. But it's not going to get better until you make a change. Until you do something different, it's not going to change. So it may feel bad, but feelings are not facts. Feelings come and go. I have felt extreme loneliness. And there's days even now in life where I feel extreme loneliness. And there's times where I'm sad. I mean, we just had Thanksgiving. Both my sons weren't here. My sister wasn't here. Friends weren't here. And I was with my parents and I still felt sad. Not because I don't love my parents, but because it doesn't feel like the past when I was buried and my kids were little and we had festive times. It's different now and it's okay. Life is ever changing and ever moving. And it doesn't mean that life's always going to be like this. But for this year, for this segment of my life, I'm alone a lot. And there's kind of some peacefulness that comes with acceptance, knowing that I can make different changes and I can make plans along the way. So hopefully that wasn't too rambly. I just wanted to say that you're never alone and to just do your best even if you're in a fight with somebody try to forgive try to have conversations communicate don't just let it be strife all the way around in your life try to work through whatever's going on so that you can be close to other people because it's not great to isolate all the time just want to say that you are loved you are cared for there's people in this world that love you and care about you go out and find those people that are in your corner that care about you that love you that don't want you to be alone and if you are alone just know that there are people out there that love you and care about you and are praying for you and i love you and see you on the next one bye for now Snack time. Snack time.